the victorious Liverpool players and the disappointed Malcolm McDonald. Steve Highway, scorer of the second goal, and a much happier goal than your last one, here, Steve. Yeah, meant something for change. And came at a time when you were still just the one ahead, and it really was the clincher. Yeah, I think it was pretty tight until we get the goal. You know, the second half, I think we got well on top. And a really very good goal. You might like to have a look at it again. We might. Uh, <laughs> you maybe won't see it, but uh, see I'm sure it. you'll remember it anyway. I remember it, yeah. John Tosh had a goal for favourite. And then, once it came to you, still well tucked across into the corner. Though. It's not safe, I won't even know it was there. <laughs> Believe me, it was a very good goal. Well done, Steve. Yeah. Big word from Malcolm McDonald, bravely coming along to talk, but you must be a very disappointed man, Malcolm. Yeah, more so for our supporters than anybody else. We've got a mile us out there. But uh, let's face it, Liverpool were the top today. They yeah. really did play well. Oh, they were out of this world, and uh, we just couldn't get started. Right, right from the start, they put the pressure on us. They kept going forward at us all the time, they kept finding the spaces. And uh, they just walked all over us in the end, unfortunately, you know. And as I say, I'm just sorry for our supporters, who I thought were magnificent in defeat. So what's left for you now? A lot of words to you. Just a very busy summer, I'm afraid. Extremely busy summer. Um, and uh, just have to look forward to the next season. Hope you find some of the girls in the summer that you missed today, Malcolm. Thank you very much. Thanks. Tommy Smith, Tommy, congratulations yeah. to you. You've been around here a few times now, but this is presumably a very happy visit. Right? Oh, OK. Fabulous, yeah. Yeah, that's been brilliant, yeah. A bit of a sticky first half, you know, getting going in the case of pitching out in the second half. I think we just overran it. How do you think the in fact was that pitch? First half, you know, it, it was, uh, it had a stud hole, you know, great, but it, it was sort of wettish on top and everything was flying off it, you know, and it bounced a little bit left side. In the second half, it's, you know, the dam seems to have... So was it a great relief really from getting the goal in? No, I think the great relief was when Alex went in and he disallowed it, you know, and then he thought, well, we've scored, you know, so what we've got to do is put it in the net again, you know, because... Right, we're going to hit it, You know, Alex, Alex sort of, it was a deadlock till then, really, I think we had a couple of chances, but Alex called, sort of, you know, sort of, uh, got us going, really, you know, and, and sort of put us on the road, you know. Hey, it's a nice celebration there, Tommy. Oh, I hope so, yeah, that's it. Well done, anyway, consolation to you for losing the league, anyway. Well done, Tommy. Thank you. Ray, a fairly quiet afternoon for you, relatively. Of course, we'd like to play like that. There's no chance of me getting air from the jersey. <laughs> well, that's it. You're looking at your little warm. <laughs> oh, it was a nervous perspiration. The excitement at the end there. <laughs> oh, they played really well, didn't they? I mean, they pushed it around. We've been doing it in games all season. We haven't really got the credit for it. Uh, we played very similar to those up at Newcastle, but we just didn't score the goals. Today, we should, no, I think we showed everybody how we can play. It was pure magic. It was magic to watch, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you said that a very good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Shackney, congratulations on yeah. a tremendous performance. Yeah. Absolutely no arguing about it, was it? Oh no, I think that uh, this, this team won the league last season, the cup this season, they'll win the league next season. Then this emulating the team of 64, 65 and 66. This, I didn't say that we would beat Newcastle, I never said that at all. I said that we were the best team in England and that it's possible for us to beat anybody in England and possibly anybody in the world. I feel as though you proved it today. I said that I didn't say we would beat anybody. I said that we were capable of beating anybody in the world. What do you think were the important factors in the game today, Bill? Oh, Liverpool's uh, cohesion, uh, their spirit, their fitness, everything, you name it. We've got fantastic players here. Uh, I mean, they, they should win something every season. Did you have thoughts before the game about McDonald and Tudor, or did you let that take care of itself? Well, we were playing against us this season at Newcastle, and we could have won something, nothing at Newcastle. We didn't, we, I, I didn't think we'd give them a kick at the ball at Newcastle. And, the, and the, the, the press wrote it down. It looked, in fact, as though you had quite a lot of time when it actually came to it. Yeah, well, Brian sort of was going to flick it, and I shouldn't leave it. Had he flicked it, I couldn't do anything about it. But as it happened, as it come through, I had plenty of time to do what really pick my spot. I didn't hit it as well as I had hoped. But, uh, but well enough. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I mean, accurate advice, you know. And a lovely build up for the last one. Oh, tremendous, Tommy and, and Brian. Tommy, Tommy and Steve. Steve oh, Hi, right. Smith, just put it on a plate for me, lad. I'll put him in. Yes, <laughs> thanks, Smith. Um, thanks, lad. Thanks, Smith. Well, Emily, with great performance. Magnificent. We outclassed him in every part of the game. Every part of the game. Never give him a kick to the ball, actually. So what about next season, lad? Championship? Well, you can, well, can only go on as a mere, can't you? We've won two cups last year. We've won the league. Mid-championship in the Euro Cup. We've won the FA Cup this year. What more do you want?